What's up, YouTube? This is Stuff Bag Accessories, back with another video. This is going to be a 2016-2017 uh, predictions of the NBA. Um, so we're going to do mm -hmm. top three teams of each conference, East and West, and then who we Players. think are going to be in the finals, and then uh, who's going to win the championship. MVP, so, stuff, yep, like that. stuff like that. So let's get right into the video. All right, guys, the first topic is going to be the Eastern Conference top three teams. My prediction is going to be the Cavs, or like, let's do three to one. So yeah. it would be like... The third team in the East at the end of the whole season Yo. would be, um, in my opinion, I think it's going to be the Raptors. Okay. The Raptors, I think that's what it's going to be. And then number two, I'm going to say the Bulls. I'm going to say Chicago Bulls. I think they have a chance yeah, they, to get in the second. Yep, they got uh, Dwayne Wade. Yeah, they do. Yep. And then uh, number they one. Lost, they lost D. Rose. They did, yeah. But he, he's kind of a head case. So I think, honestly, he was kind of like holding them back just because he yeah. had so many injuries and just like <clears> yeah, issues just, off the court. They should have just let him go earlier. Yeah. Should have left. And then my number one team is the Cavaliers, which is, I think that's their in the... I think that's kind of obvious. I think that's everybody's number one. Mm -hmm. Like, just Kyrie and LeBron just getting it done. Yeah. yeah. All right, so moving on to my teams. So my number three is going to be the Toronto Raptors um, with Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan. Um, it's a great team. Uh, those two guards yeah. just... Uh, Go off. <laughs> hey, they put on a show. I mean, uh, I think DeMar DeRozan needs to improve his... Three point shooting, mm -hmm. he actually needs to shoot more threes. Like, even though he doesn't shoot very well from there, he just needs to shoot more, more threes. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's, a, he's a great player. Um, and then for number two, I got the Celtics. So, uh, yeah, they're number two on quite a bit of people's lists. So, they got Isaiah Thomas, yeah. great point guard. And they've um, moved up in the last couple of years. Yeah, too. they like, definitely they, they have. have. They've been that. improving, their team has been getting stronger. I think they have a very good chance of getting to number two as well. Yeah, and then Jay Crowder, he's a great player. Power forward or small forward, I can't remember what player or uh, what position. And then we're one the Cavs, obviously. Yeah, just, uh, I think that's just won the, won the championship last year. Yeah. Um, actually, a lot of people are thinking they will win the finals, and uh, we'll talk more we'll about, talk that about that in the later. West. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do the West now. Um, my team's three to one would be. Um, I think OKC has a chance to get number three spot. Um, yep. they've started out well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. With, like Russell Westbrook, he's being like. The number one player, obviously, yeah, like on that team. The only one. But uh, with he'll get really tired playing all those minutes, and he can't play all those minutes. Yeah. He, um, he, he's like just this, he can't do it by himself. Like so. how hard he works on the court. He's just I don't know. He's an insane player to watch. Great yeah. player to watch. Mm -hmm. I think if he improves his shooting, the team will get better. Yeah, and obviously they have um, they lost Kevin Durant. Like, yeah. So that was a big big factor in that. But they still yeah. got Stephen Adams, which. Should be doing pretty good. Yeah. So um, then moving on to my number two, I think the Spurs are going to just pull it off. Yep. Um, number two, they did lose they're Tim Duncan, but they're so dependent. That's the thing. They're always yeah. so like consistent. Mm -hmm. Like they're they really always consistent. make it to the like really far in the playoffs. They always finish with a great record. Yeah, they do. And it's just they're so consistent. Yeah, they're and Kawhi Leonard. I mean, didn't he? You said you practiced with Kobe over the summer. Yeah, he trained with Kobe. Like, yeah, he's he's gotten a lot better. He's gotten really good. I mean, he's. He's his, turned into an MVP contender. Yeah, he is. He He's just grown so much, and then they got, I mean, obviously, so many good players on that team. They did lose. Good did bench. And yep. Stuff, but, you know, that's that's just a part of basketball and stuff. So I think that they they will make it to number two, yep. but I think it might be close. But obviously, my number one, got to go with my, my team right here. <laughs> Golden State Warriors, they got Kevin Durant, the Steph Curry, <laughs> Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, all four, those guys. Four all-stars. Yes, yeah, and I mean, they got a stacked team. But we'll get in more of the different specs in this yep. kind of thing later. But uh, th those are my three teams I think that will be in the West. All right, so moving on to my teams. My number three is going to be the Clippers. Um, they are a great team. They're always expected to do great. Like, they're always yeah. in the third or fourth spot in the yeah, I mean, West. they got so many All-Stars on that yeah, team. They've you'd, got you'd think they did good. They've got three All-Stars. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. They all do really well in the regular season, and then just kind of choke in the fun. Yeah, the they just choke at the end of the season. Yeah, and just yeah, they just can't pull it through. Obviously, they had some injuries at the playoffs last year. Yep. they lost Chris Paul and uh, Blake Griffin and stuff. But JJ Redick also is yep, yep. good. Yep, he's a good shooter. Great sixth man. Yeah, slash, yeah, he's a great shooter. Um, yeah, Chris Paul, like one of the leading assists like of all time already. He's like he's always that really. Really dependent guy that you can always depend on to get yeah. you the ball. My number two is going to be the Spurs. Yeah. The loss of Tim Duncan, they aren't going to be as great as they were last year. I mean, they were like serious contenders to win the finals. Yeah, they were. Like before they uh, went up against the Warriors. 
Um, so they lost. What was the series? Four to one or it, something? I think it was. I think four they, to two. Yeah, something like that. I think they won a six, but I can't remember. Okay. We got Kawhi Leonard. Just a great player. Great mm. player. Yeah, like training with Kobe over good. the summer. Already improved his superstar, like, ego, and it's he's just <laughs> yeah. great player. Got paired with, um, got Mano Patty, Ginobili, yeah, Mano. Tony Parker. Um, Patty Mills. Yep, yeah, Patty Mills, great shooter. Um, but yeah, Spurs are serious contender. Too. Yep, Aldridge, yeah. Yeah, Kawhi and Aldridge are the two best players on the yes, team. Yes. Wow, how could I forget him? I don't know. All right, and then moving on to the number one, you got the Warriors. So, the thing is with the Warriors, they need to learn how to play as a team. Yeah. They can score whenever they want if they want to. They're, they're an offensive team They're right now. completely offensive-minded. Like, that's the thing. I mean, they're... Lauren in defense, their center is just pretty weak. Yeah. But, I mean, when you've got four all-stars in the starting lineup, what else can you ask for? Yeah, exactly. And um, I think we'll go into more detail about the Warriors later. And yep. the, obviously, in uh, more of the playoff section yep. of this video. But um, that's it for West and East. All right, we're going to move on to MVP. Um, this is a very tough decision, yep. especially for this Definitely year. Um, I, I have to go with Steph Curry for the third time in a row. I think he... He's just getting better, and he's in his prime. I think he's just yep. gonna keep pulling it off. Um, but he, he's angry, guys. He he lost the finals. He's, he's ready little, to execute. A little bit of chip on his shoulder. Yeah, and he's. I mean, I think he's just gonna go off this year. Yep. And um, obviously, the first game didn't go so great for any of the players. But um, they've got to learn how to get their teammate kind of. Yeah, they up. need to get in the zone here. But yep. um, I think I'm gonna go with Curry. I think that it's just it's gonna be close. I think between Curry and. Um, Kawhi Leonard or um, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Yeah, but I think Kevin Durant and um, Steph Curry are going to go head to head with that um, MVP award because I, they're teammates now. People are noticing him. He's, I mean, they're calling it Kevin Durant's Golden State Warriors, which yep. I don't really approve. But um, <laughs> yeah, when Kevin Durant went to Golden State, he he said it would still be Steph Curry's team. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they're both great players. I would say two and three in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Best yeah. players in the NBA. All right, what's your your choice on MVP here? I know you won't like this, but I've got to say, say LeBron. No. I've got to say LeBron, bro. No. All right. All right. He's, he, I think he's due for an MVP. The reason is he led his team to the finals two years in a row. First year, two years ago, without Kevin Love and Kyrie. True. Yep. He single-handedly almost beat the Warriors. Mm -hmm. I, get, I get where you're coming from, but... Yeah. He's been to the finals six times, six years in a row. He's like one of the best players of all time in stats. Um, like he's 11th in scoring, like 17th in rebounds, like ninth in assists, and like I don't know. You've got to respect LeBron in some way. Like no matter like if you don't like him, like you've just got to respect him in some way. So that's gonna yeah. be my MVP. Um, along with Kyrie and I, I think know, Kyrie has a chance. Kyrie, that was my he, second choice. He's, he's so like no one. It's like Clay Thompson on the Golden State Warriors. No one. Like, he's underrated. Watch, he's underrated. Exactly. They don't. They don't pay attention to him. I think he deserved that Finals MVP. Honestly, I think he did with that clutch three he, in the yeah, game and seven. They don't care about that. They don't. Like, all they care about is. I know a lot of people are going to be mad about this. LeBron missing the dunk and then crying. <laughs> um, but Kyrie had 41 points along with LeBron 41 points yep. in game five. Yep. So why don't they give him more credit? I mean, yep. he is an amazing player. I do not like the Cavaliers, but man, do I respect Ky Kyrie Irving. He yep. is great. He's a great player. So, um, and I want to see him and uh, Curry go head to head in yep. uh, some kind of games here. I think yep. Christmas Day they play in. And then I think there's two big maps. I think there's like, there are four players kind of trying to prove themselves in the NBA. Are, yeah. Kyrie, LeBron, Curry, and KD. Yeah, they're all kind of fighting for those like th that maybe top five, those rankings in there. I know Kyrie's probably a little bit lower than the rest of them like yeah. right now. Like he's that's, not really. I mean, he's not even. That's he's just not the even close to being his. That's the cliche. Gonna, yeah. yeah, he's only 24 years old. Yeah, people. he's not. He's just getting started here. He's getting started. He's yeah. gonna be good. He's gonna be good for the rest of his career. Yeah, and he's just he's, he's just, just getting started. He's just getting started exactly, and he's so good right now. Um, let's get to the finals, final predictions. Yep, finals predictions. Yep. All right, moving on to the finals, like I said, um, I personally think I got to go with the Warriors again. Like I said, they've made it to the finals the past two years against yep. the Cavaliers. We do think it's going to be against the Cavaliers. Yep, Warriors-Cavs. Yeah, and it's that's just 
undebatable. I mean, that's just got to be that's just got to how it's going to be. So, I think three years in a row they're going to make it all the way there. And like I said before, Curry and the Golden State Warriors are angry. They've been called like they choked. They yeah, seventy three and stuff. nine, but no ring. Yeah, and a perfect season almost, and no ring to to show for it. And yeah, man, I mean, t what would make you angrier in the NBA? Yeah. Losing that. I mean, they got to be somewhat angry, and they're going to yeah. be coming for this um, finals appearance. I think they're just going to pull it through, and it's going to yeah. be awesome. I think they're going to win in five, honestly. Yeah, yep. they're going to win back. But um, yeah, I, I really do think that's going to be. And then I think for finals MVP, I think Curry is going to finally get it because I mean, he Iguodala won it. Iguodala, I I really did think he he deserved it. He deserved it. The defense on LeBron was amazing. No yep. one really remembers that, but I, I yeah. remember seeing like, wow. I mean. He, he can guard this player so well, and, and yeah. they don't really care about Iguodala. Now he's in the starting lineup? So. Yeah, he is, without uh, all the five players of the Warriors oh, lost. Yeah, but. so I'm going to say also the Cavs and Warriors. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think the Cavs are going to put up a really good fight. Like, unlike you, I think that it's going to go to seven games, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the Warriors are going to have some growing pains in the beginning of the season, but towards the end of the year, this is way at the end of the year, people. Yeah. This is like... Very 60, end. 70 games. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. So, I think the Warrior, Warriors will have it together. They'll know what they'll know their jobs on the court. Mm -hmm. They'll know what they each have to do. And I their think they'll pull it out. Yeah, th their strengths, like what their job is. So, How uh, to get each other the ball and stuff. Yeah. I think it's just going to be... Great chemistry. Yeah. So, I think they're going to... Warriors are going to pull it off. I think that the Warriors, yeah, they're, they're going to pull it off. And I think that with Kevin Durant and Curry, they're going to find their positions just find where their strengths are in the game like Nolan said. So I think that's what we think all those positions. I don't think we missed anything in there. Um, yep. I mean, we got all we those got everything things. covered. I think that's – hopefully – we'll do a video probably at the end of the season if we – how close we yeah. were or whatever. But that's yeah. like still a couple of uh, – that's, that's a long that's, way that's away. That's a long ways away. But we're definitely be tuning into this kind of stuff. So um, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Maybe share your thoughts. Share your thoughts in the comment yep. section below. Yep. Um, or if you've made a video on this, you let us know. And yeah. uh, Steph Bag Accessories, we, we out. out.